Hi everybody, welcome back to our uh, channel. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to uh, share to you how much can you possibly earn in uh, minting shoes in step N. So obviously, if, if you just want to know if you can potentially earn, the um, short answer is yes. However, there's a lot of factors that you need to consider before you go and do it. And as you know, a lot of people are doing this. So me personally, I, I want to share to you how I do it myself. But before I start, uh, just a quick reminder that again, uh, anything that involves money, anything that uh, involves um, financial decisions, uh, please take my video as not a financial advice and always do your own research that you should only use my uh, videos as a guide. And uh, yep, uh, in this video, um, I, wish I shall um, discuss the following. Number one, um, the initial investment that you need to do if in case you want to do the mint um, strategy, uh, what will be the requirements, um, how to mint, how you price the uh, baby shoes that you will produce out of this minting. And then I will also share to you how much I made the profit from today. As of today, May 20, I already did my 14th, 14th uh, minting. That's why I'm pretty sure I'm qualified enough to share to you how I do it. And then towards the end of the video, I'm going to uh, give you some few tips before you start minting. So let's start. Uh, what are the initial investment that you need to uh, shell out once you decide to uh, do um, mint flip? Number one is obviously you need to have two shoes for you to um, produce the uh, a new shoe. And at the moment, um, from market marketplace, as of the time of the recording, the lowest price for common is sitting at 12.75 sol. So I don't know if it's higher by the time that you uh, watch my video or it could be lower. Um, Solana, as of this time of recording, is sitting at 52.33. So you can do the math, 12.75 times two times 52.33, that will be the first initial investment that you need. Number two, you also need to have the minting cost. And as you know, if you hadn't um, seen my um, video, it's called Step and New Dynamic Minting. Please do watch that one as well. With that video, I had discussed what is the new dynamic mint table. So basically, every 2 p.m. UTC, um, the devs will adjust the minting table or the mint amount depending on the um, uh, price of GST. So for example, as you can see on the screen, uh, again, as of the time of recording, GST is less than three. That is why this is the table that we are using for the mint cost, assuming you're minting two common um, shoes. So there are other tables for different combinations. As, as you know, there's a lot of combinations that you can do. You can mean common and uncommon, uncommon both, or both both common or rare and epic, etc. So I just gave you a uh, snippet of some of the tables that you can expect. And again, don't forget, it could change every 24 hours depending on the price of GST. So, um, so for our case, let's say, for example, I'll give you an example. The, the column 07 means the number of the mint of the shoe. The, col uh, the rows are same. It showcases the um, uh, mint of the shoe. So, for example, I bought two zero mint shoes. It means they are virgin shoes. They hadn't been um, minted in the past. So, zero and zero, I will need 160 uh, GMT and, uh, GST, sorry, and then 40 GMT. So the first figure here always corresponds to GST. The second figure is the GMT. So for example, under example, if you bought a uh, three mint shoe and you will uh, pair it with a one, 
means shoe. So where they cross, you will need 240 GST and 60 GMT. So basically that's how you use this table. So number three um, investment that you need to shell out is the leveling cost of the shoe. As I will discuss later on, one of the requirements is before you can meet a shoe, it needs to be at level five. So it could be higher, but not lower than five. So if you, um, uh, the table, I just cut it up to level five, it will cost you a total of 20 GST and 10 GMT. So as usual, when you're doing the mint, always list down the current um, GMT and GST price so you know your actual initial investment. So as of the time of recording, GMT is 1.40 USDT or US dollar and the GST is sitting at 2.97. So now that you know how much um, you need to shell out uh, at the very start, now it's time for us to know the other requirements. So number one, the cool down time should have been done. If you don't know, you need 48 hours when you purchase from the marketplace before you can mint. Now, if you had transferred your shoes or, or someone transferred to you to mint, you also need to wait 48 hours. For my case, I had minted the shoes already in the past, so I also need to wait 48 hours before I can mint. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that every 48 hours I'm minting because of the cool down. And before I always post my uh, minting, but I think I'd stop at 7th and I just post the video in the Facebook space. Facebook page called Step and Global. So if you want to see the other uh, mint that I have, it's all posted in there. So number two, the two shoes should be both minimum level five. And um, as you've seen on this table, um, it takes for level one, you need one GST, it takes one hour. Level two, you need uh, three hours and you need to burn two GST. To level it up to third level, you need six hours, um, three GST. So all in all, it will take you um, 15 hours to do all this one to five leveling and um, cost of 20 GST and 10 GMT. Number three, uh, make sure that you're not leveling up your shoes when you're about to mint because you cannot touch the shoes if it's leveling up. So that's a very important to note. Number four, your minting tokens, that GMT and GMT that we had seen from this um, table should be in your spending wallet, not the wallet. And as you know, what had happened today and yesterday, the congestion of Solana is again severe. So one of my tip here is make sure if you're planning to uh, mint at a certain point in time, make sure to at least prepare the tokens eight hours before. It should already be in your spending because it happened to me many times. I cannot mint because the tokens cannot be transferred from my wallet to spending. Or sometimes it's even worse. You had a Solana for your, your spending. You need to put it back to wallet. You need to trade or swap into GST and GMT. And again, because of network congestion, you cannot do that. And possibly another congestion once you move back from wallet to spending. So if you've been here long enough, you know that it's always like that. So far before, it's already been okay. But again, it's very unpredictable now, guys. So my biggest tip here is prepare the tokens, move the tokens into the spending wallet at least eight hours before you're, if you're waiting for a cool down like me, I usually trade, transfer everything um, into my spending wallet. Well, the downside for that is you have no choice. Whatever is the conversion rate, whatever is the uh, GST and GMT token at that point in time will be your 
uh, cost. So if if the tokens is higher or lower by the time that you um, uh, mint, well, you can, you have no more control on that. But for me, uh, based from experience, because of so many network congestions now, I'd rather pay whatever you know um, the price of those tokens at that point and move it early into my spending to make sure that I won't delay by the time that I uh, am ready to mint. All right, so just a quick summary of how to mint. Again, I've posted a lot of videos of the actual app minting. So please check that one. They are like one to two minutes video, so it will be quick. You can see there what I press, but it's very, very quick once you do it. And again, assuming that you've done all those requirements, what you do, as you can see on the uh, bottom right corner, just select the first shoe that you want to bin and then click mint. It's with a heart icon and then it will give you a new screen with the uh, two, it's like a way scale. And then just click the plus sign to pick the second pair and then select the second shoes that you want to mint. And then basically it will show you there how much you need in terms of GST and GMT. And again, we assume they're already in your spending wallet and then just click mint and boom, in a few seconds, it will give you the uh, shoe box. And later on, I will show you the uh, probability of what kind of shoe box that you can get based on the type of shoes that you had um, minted or paired. So you can either open the shoe box directly or you can just collect it. So when you collect, obviously it will sit in your inventory as a shoe box. So you have an option to either sell that later on or open it later. So that's basically how you mint. Okay, so how do you price the baby shoe? Um, your first option is you can sell it as a shoe box, meaning it's an open. And upon checking the floor price or the lowest price of shoe box in the marketplace for common shoes, currently sitting at 16, Sol 16 Solana or 16 Sol. So most people, most people sell it. And it's also my personal tip for all of you who will be uh, wanting to earn in um, uh, flip uh, minting is to sell it as a shoe box. And uh, based on experience, uh, you will get around roughly two, two and above, minimum of two Solana profit each time you sell it as a shoe box. So that's my personal tip. Now, if you want to open it, because obviously our objective here is get a higher quality of shoe, and that's where the biggest profit can, you can have. For example, the most common one is when you mint two common shoes, you have a three slim chance of hitting a uncommon shoes. And as you know, the price of uncommon is like what? Four to five times, or it could be higher, depending on the type and stats of the shoes. So it could be a four or above times your initial um, investment. So yes, um, the second thing is you need to check the stats. So do you have a high attributes in efficiency, in comfort, in luck? So that will dictate the pricing as well. And of course, what type of shoe? Is it a walker shoe? Is it a jogger? Is it a runner? Is it a trainer? As we know, trainer is the most expensive because you can do any speed. Um, runner is the least so far because not so many people wants to run every day. And uh, walker, uh, walker is uh, like the um, uh, third popular because anyone can just walk. Uh, Fourth popular is the jogger because you can brisk walk, you can go fast a bit, but you can also walk. So uh, the best thing that I usually do is um, the fourth one is decide the profit. 
So later on, I will I will show you. Like, like I'll give you an example of deciding the profit. Say, for example, my minting cost is ten solana. Let, let's say, for example, ten solana, right? And then I I'm happy to earn a one point five um, solana profit. So I can sell it at. You need to consider that there's always a six percent transaction fee. So with six percent transaction fee, I'm willing to sell it at 12 or maybe 12.5 Solana. So again, that's just a preference if you don't want to think much. But for me, the best thing that you can do is check the marketplace. Check the marketplace, compare the stats of your shoes with the similar ones. That way you can have a gauge of how much you can list it. And also, of course, make sure that it's not lower than your mint cost. So basically, that's how I price the baby shoes. All right, so I'm going to share to you my actual today, the 14th mint that I had. So with the current dynamic table, I spent 160 GST and 40 GMT for the actual minting. And that's um, plus uh, I leveled up those two shoes which is uh, 20 GST and 10 GMT per, per, um, per shoe. So approximately, I spent 12.35 Solana. Now, um, I, as you can see on the right side, it has a really good um, stats, right? It's a walker, but it's, it's like 8.8, 8.5, 1.9, and 8.7. You won't and, and and the sockets are good as well. Like I listed it at um, eighteen point five Solana, and it was quickly um, purchased in less than ten seconds. I wasn't even able to check it from the marketplace. It just get gone quickly at eighteen point five. So less the six percent fees that we need to pay each time we sell a shoe. I had a net profit of. 5.04 Solana. So pretty much it's not bad. But don't forget, guys, uh, this is assuming that I didn't buy those two initial shoes that you need. Because as you know, I've been doing this mint flip for a while. So I don't need to buy um I don't need to buy new shoes anymore. Because what I do is using the zero one mint flip. I always sell one of the parent shoes once it becomes a two over seven shoes. So that way I can rotate that, rotate the uh, proceeds or the sale of that one shoe to use it for the second minting after 48 hours. So basically that's how I do it. I sell one of the um, parent shoes and use that um, fund to, to convert again back to GST and GMT and earn a bit. And I'll just keep repeating until I hit that uncommon shoe. And as you know, um, that will be the biggest profit that any common minter will have once we hit uncommon shoes. Or it's either we can sell it or we can use it as our main shoes. So I put it there once you hit. Uh, for those who are minting uncommon shoes, obviously they're eyeing for rare shoes. For those rare minters, they're eyeing for um, epic shoes. So, yep, that's that will be the biggest profit that um, we will get once we hit that target. So far, I'm still not hit, um, hitting that 14th. Um, after 14 mint, I still didn't get my uh, uncommon, but I will keep doing it until uh, because I have that rotating funds already. So I don't mind keep minting every 48 hours. So before you do this mint flip, there are four tips that I want to give you. Number one, do you have that spare? Ask yourself, do you have that spare dollars? As I have mentioned already on the first part of the video, the investment amount that you need. Don't be blindsided with that 504 Solana that I did because don't forget, I already have two existing shoes that I keep rotating so but if it's your first time to do this obviously you need to recover first ROI first those two shoes before you can really gain the profit so it may take you a while before you hit that except if you got 
really, really lucky and hit that uncommon straight away. We, we've seen a few people who hit it. We've seen a few people do it twice in a row. So also it depends on your luck. But then again, just ask yourself, do you have that spare? spare budget to uh, finance your uh, first mint. Number two that you need to think is the uh, price volatility. Um, as you know, in any second, in any minute, in any hour, price of um, tokens change. It could go higher, it could go lower. You, you do the calculations, write it down. I already told you the uh, cost. Um, check if you, can, um, if you can take that risk. When, when the price of Solana and other tokens go high up or go down. Number three, again, you need to check your strategy in the game. Is this, is this your initial goal? Is this something that, that you really want to do or do you want to ROI first or do you want to accumulate shoes? So go back to your strategy and stick to it. But then again, if you have extra budget, it won't hurt. It won't hurt. And number four is the failed mint result. Um, as you can see on the screen, th th those are the probability that um, you can mint a lower quality of shoes if, say, you're minting uncommon shoes. So in short, there's a probability that you will spend so much, but you will produce less. Let's say, for example, you, you, you mint too uncommon there's a 25% probability that it will be a common. So in short, you will lose a lot because you've minted, you've spent, um, you've spent so much on the shoes and on the uh, minting cost. Although again, it depends on your luck. You could be lucky and you can hit the 2% rare sneaker. And also, um, uh, the, the, the result of your, on the right side, the result of the uh, shoes, again, is different per pair of shoes. So let's say, for example, you mint a one common shoe and one uncommon shoe. There's a 50% chance that it will give you a common shoe. And then there's 49% chance of uncommon shoe and 1% chance of a rare shoe box shoe. And I guess this is the reason why I'm, I, I don't plan in my capacity to mint uncommon shoes because the probability of failing is high for me. And it's not the risk that I want to take. But again, individually, not all of us is like me. Some of you have high tolerance for, for, for um, gambling and you know, taking risk. But then again, I just want you to know that go back on this table. It's on the white paper just to make sure that you won't be shocked in case you don't expect the result that you expect. So that's pretty much it, guys. And as usual, I want to thank all the people that are um, supporting us. Quick shout out to Boris Minakov. Uh, shout out to Select Marketing. Shout out to Garbage King and of course our frequent um, followers on the yellow box. Guys, thank you so much for all those comments. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to our channel and please click that like button. Any comment will help the algor algorithm of my videos. And again, for those who are still searching for um, Activation codes, we're posting it every day and a few times a day in our Facebook page called Step and Global for those who are existing users. If you want to please comment below any activation code or you can post here as well. You can reach me in my other um, uh, social media pages, Twitter, Discord, and in here. So far, that's it, guys. I hope you've learned something from today. Let's go and walk. Until next time.